Hi, I'm Eric Naso with NewShooter.com. When it comes to lighting these days, we have so many choices, and they're good ones, from panels to fresnels, and even tube-style lamps as well. Today, I have a set of Quasar Science QLED lithium-ion battery-powered lamps. These are the second generation, and these fall right into the handy category for me. They can be used in so many different ways. Let's take a closer look at the 7-inch Q5, the 12-inch Q10, and the 24-inch Q20. They come in three sizes. This is the Q5LS. It's a 7-inch model. And over here we have the Q10LS. This is a 12-inch model. And then double up, this one is the Q20LS. This one's 24 inches. I really like this big one. To charge it, you just plug it in and use the supplied USB 3 cable and this is the power adapter. You can't use your standard iPhone version because this one requires a 9 volt 2 amp or 12 volt 1 amp USB charger and this is the one to use. If you forget yours, don't think about using your smartphone one because it probably won't work. Unfortunately, when you're charging the lights, you can't use them at the same time. Turning them on and off is pretty simple. You basically turn it on by pressing it once and then you press it again, you press it again, and it keeps going down in steps until it'll turn off. If you want to change the color, then you hold the button down, and then it turns to tungsten. And the same procedure is you press it once every time, and it brings it down until it turns it off. And it's off. And when you turn it back on, it's always going to be full bright. So to turn it off completely, you just have it double tapped. But now you have to remember one thing. Now when you turn it on and you don't turn it on or you don't touch it for a while and you use it, to sort of activate it, the light goes off. You see, now in order to activate it again, you have to tap it once and then you can change stuff. The color is pretty good on the Quasar Science Q-Lion lights. I tested the 24 inch and I got an extended CRI of 95.86. That's pretty solid. The lamps are rated at 5,600. My test showed 5,595K. That's pretty darn close. As for output, from one meter again, 601 lux or 55.9 foot candles. I wanted to test these Quasar Science Q-Lions in a more traditional way. So I took the 24 inch and I have it just sort of angled right over the top of the camera. It's about four feet away and it's only at 50% because at full power they were too bright. Now uh, on the back here at 50% as well I have the 12 inch version and it's doing a nice job doing me a little fill back here. Kind of give me a little kicker because you can see here. And then here you can kind of see what's going on. But the lighting is nice and soft in the background. Well, that's about eight feet away from me. And this setup is looking really good. It's, this is going to work really well if you want to do some really portable interviews and you don't want to run a bunch of stingers on the ground. It makes it a lot safer, get four hours of runtime. Not a bad option. If you want to mount it to say like a grip head or an arm, there's a 3 8 tap here. So just pick up a very simple 3 8 pin <laughs> and it screws right in and it makes it really versatile. This way you can attach it to pretty much any grip head like this one or an arm and you can fly it in into your background. So this works really, really well. It's a great option. Uh, makes working with these lamps pretty easy. Now you also have another option. On the bottom there is a magnet and it works pretty well. Check this out. Over here I have that small one mounted. This is the little guy and it goes really tight and I can even this is on a pretty heavy-duty stand here and I can pull it towards me as you can see uh, uh. <laughs> so it definitely holds on so I like this option because uh, I've used it also on an overhead and for you know like kind of like a hair light <laughs> but not like that uh. <laughs> but it really wants to attach and you can hear that click so works pretty good I like the magnetic option but of course you have to have a real steel or metal object because aluminum, well, can't, doesn't amount to aluminum. Recently I did a review of the move cam cage for the GH5. Whenever I needed a little extra something something, I just brought in the light. From the top, from the side, from the front, it was really handy. It added a nice soft accent. The QLED lights are a great addition to anyone's lighting kit. It's a product you didn't even know you really needed until you tried them out. Then you realize the potential. 
and how easy it is to add some fill without looking for a power outlet. The color rendition and output is also pretty darn good, and I think they're priced reasonably. They start at $100 for the Q5, $200 for the Q10, and $300 for the Q20. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Naso for NewShooter.com.